Today is February 28th. Today's quote is entitled, I am unqualified. We have heard thousands of times that we should be humble. If we cherish hopes for gaining a position or recognition within the assembly of Vaishnavas, the Trinad Api verse of the Shishashtakam will never penetrate our hearts. We cannot enter the spiritual world or even enter into real spiritual life unless we feel ourselves truly unqualified for Krishna's service and feel other devotees to be better than ourselves. So here is a definition which I think is a little shocking. Not that it's not true, it's just a shocking reality that humility means, number one, I feel completely unqualified to be a devotee and secondly, I feel everyone's better than I am. Now that's, the first one is probably a little easier, a little easier for us to feel because we know, at least from our past, we're not that qualified to be devotees. But sometimes when we're doing well in Krishna consciousness, we start to think that maybe I'm Krishna conscious. Maybe I am actually a good devotee. Maybe I am even special. And that's not the way a Vaishnava thinks. A Vaishnava thinks, I am totally unqualified to be a devotee. I have absolutely nothing that would even count me with any quality, qualification, characteristic, nature, mentality, attitude of a devotee. And then because the devotee thinks that way, then he thinks, but everyone else, they're better than me. So that's like inconceivable. And I'm not saying that you should even try to think that way. All we're doing here is defining what humility means. If you try to do that and you don't have that realization, it's not really going to help you and it could even make you a little weird or weirder, if you already are weird. Only kidding. So. But just, just consider this, just meditate on this, just put that in your file in your mind of what humility is. A person who is genuinely humble, according to our definition, sees everyone better than himself. That's inconceivable to see everyone. I see some people better, but everyone, actually most people, I don't see better. I see only some are better. I'm pretty good. I'm a devotee. That means I'm better than most people. But a genuine devotee doesn't think like that. So, I'm not qualified and everyone's better. That is what humility means. And, okay, now you're thinking, well, can I work on that? Can I start developing humility? You can, but not on that level. That, you can't just feel yourself better, but you could meditate on it. You can try to enter the mood somehow. Or just That's where Krishna consciousness begins for us. It's just understanding what, what it means to be Krishna conscious, understanding the mood of a pure devotee, meditating on it, discussing it, trying to more deeply analyze it, and then gradually, as you advance, starting to feel it. The feeling's not going to come until we're more advanced. I can understand I'm not qualified, but to feel it, I can understand others are better than me, but to feel it is a different thing. And that, that requires advancement. So it begins with understanding the knowledge that's in the head. This is what it means to be humble. I didn't even use the word humble before I was a devotee. I didn't even, actually, I never heard the word. It wasn't like my culture. That wasn't part of it. It was get ahead. 
That's what I heard. So hearing the word, defining it, understanding it, seeing the examples of pure devotees, that's where it begins. And then someday, as you advance, you, will, you try to apply humility in your life, you'll start to feel it.